Hello, welcome to the Category 1 Plus Vibration Training. The purpose of this training is to provide a basic understanding of what mechanical vibrations are, where they originate from, how to use vibration sensors, and how to make sure the correct sensor is used for specific applications. We distinguish three types of unbalance. One, Static unbalance is when the center of gravity axis is not in line with the center of rotation and the heavy spot and the center of gravity are in the same plane. 2. Coupled unbalance appears when a rotating object has two or more unbalanced masses in different planes. In this chapter, we will look at how to correctly mount the sensors and discuss the mounted natural frequency. We have looked at how to properly mount each vibration sensor type and which considerations to take into account. We should not forget that not just the proper way to mount a sensor is important, but also the most suitable location for specific applications. We use techniques to separate signals into the different frequency components. One of these techniques is to convert a time signal diagram into an FFT diagram. From a certain period, let's say T1 to T2, a piece of a time signal is dissected into its individual frequency components. This is done for frequencies from frequency F1 to frequency Fn, dependent on the configuration of the measurement. In reality, most misalignments are a combination of both parallel and angular misalignment. In severe cases of misalignment, we can also see peaks at other frequencies, as can be seen in this FFT spectrum. Again, phase measurements can be used to distinguish misalignments from other fault conditions. A simple way to check whether a misalignment or unbalance should be diagnosed is by increasing the rotational speed of the machine. To be able to detect these fault conditions, we measure vibration on various components of the machine. We measure vibration of the impeller, the shaft, and the bearings by mounting vibration sensors on the bearing housings of the pump. This is because the vibration of the shaft and the impeller transfers onto the bearings. If possible, the vibration sensors should measure both in radial and axial direction of each bearing.